Welcome to Mapani Gold. We are a high-grade African gold producer with three cash-generative mines in Kenya and Zimbabwe. We specialise in rehabilitating old or underexplored gold assets that have early production opportunities and significant exploration potential. Karebi was our first acquisition and is one of the world's highest grade gold mines. While small scale, there is strong exploration potential across Karebi's license area. Before closing in the 1980s, Commoner was a high-grade mine producing more than four tonnes of gold at an average grade of eight grams per tonne. We're rehabilitating the mine back to its former scale before starting widespread exploration to extend the mine substantially. Venice sits in the Midlands Archean Age greenstone belt. 30 years ago, it was one of the biggest gold mines in Zimbabwe. According to historic technical reports, Venice contains more than half a million ounces of gold. But beyond the existing mine structures, initial exploration reveals potential deposits many times greater. Naris reopened operations in 2015. And from the mid to late 80s is basically no exploration at all. There's a need for getting back into the old workings and then beyond that is to open up new ground. It's produced about 20 tons of gold and at relatively shallow depths. The workings go down to between 120 and 350 meters. So it's expected it will go down quite a lot further, which means that there's quite an enormous potential. The Venice complex has seven historic mines within its 15 kilometer squared license area. Underground mine development can be seen in the form of shafts and drifts. The visualised reefs have been only partly mined, as can be seen by the stopes in grey. Western parallels will be a key target for new production. It has steeply dipping, sheared gold replacement reefs with a high percentage of quartz and free gold. We've identified numerous spurs from 3D modelling. Venice, Maine is a flat dipping, brecciated reef, more than one kilometre along strike and on average 1.5 metres in width. To the east, Venice, Maine connects to six more steeply dipping reefs known as the Eastern Parallels. They have been partly mined to a depth of 190 metres and are a priority target for future development. The eastern parallels potentially strike another 500 metres northwards into Wat Chair. Here, steep dipping reefs are intersected by another shallow dipping brecciated reef. The Wat Chair area runs one kilometre east to west and 500 metres north to south, offering a number of significant open pit targets. Until recently, there were extensive artisanal workings in this section of the complex, indicating the veins here are of a similar density to those at neighbouring Wat Chair. This site represents a highly prospective large-scale target. Goldfields was mined historically to a depth of 150 metres and is likely to form part of a much wider gold system. Big Tangiers is similar in strike and dip to Venice, Maine, forming a sub-parallel reef. Recent drilling at Little Tangiers returned Bonanza gold grades, albeit from a large number of small reefs. A vertical shaft is in operation here. 
To the north of the complex is a group of higher grade refractory reefs that were historically mined to a depth of less than 200 metres. Nando is a significant open pit target. Pinken Mine is operational. The reefs at Venice likely extend to at least 500 metres depth. Future exploration drilling will target these extensions. 3D modelling, combined with historic surface gold workings, suggests that different areas are part of a single gold system. We have a number of reefs that we've never looked at, in addition to the ones that we have. The ones that we have, that we know about, are in general open in depth and along strike. I would put it within the top 5% of opportunities in the country for producing gold at a good level. All our mines are compliant with International Finance Corporation performance standards, environmental, health and safety guidelines. The expansion of Mapani will allow us to create more quality jobs in Kenya and Zimbabwe and to continue our support for local communities with healthcare, education and infrastructure. We are raising $5 million to accelerate production and exploration at Venice. A further $5 million will fund the acquisition of a highly prospective neighbouring mine. Through refurbishment, exploration and acquisition of stranded assets, we have an exciting opportunity to build a substantial gold business in the heart of one of Africa's richest mining regions.